So what exactly does Mrs. Claus do up at the North Pole? Mina Harris has the answer. The CEO and best-selling author is delighting and empowering readers with her latest book, The Truth About Mrs. Claus. And Mina joins us now. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so excited to be back in New York City. Oh, we're excited to have you. And we can see some of the artwork. From I the book, love this. Which is stunning. Look at her. She's here. Mrs. She's real. Claus. Yeah. And the book centers around Amalia, who we see. Amalia the Elf, right there. And yes. it's, she has this empowering experience with Mrs. Claus. Set up the story for us. Yes, yeah, so Amalia is actually a combination of my two daughters' names, Amara and Leela, and it stemmed from uh, an experience we had uh, Christmas now almost three years ago, and my older daughter, Amara, asked what Mrs. Claus was doing while Santa was delivering presents, and, uh, you know, we're already raising them in a feminist household, getting them to ask, where are the women? Why don't we know what they're doing this morning? And I sort of jokingly responded, you know, she's she's an entrepreneur. She, she runs a business. Santa's delivering presents. And it actually, it was a joke, but it got me thinking, like, why don't we know much about Mrs. Claus. What if Christmas couldn't be the magical day that it is without her contributions? We don't even know her name. Do you know Mrs. Claus's first name? Mrs.? No. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, so it's really um, inspired by that moment and, and thinking about, you know, telling your story, right? And it's a really cute holiday story about Amalia, the elf who uh, comes from a teddy bear making family. She discovers over time that she really does not like making teddy bears. It doesn't make her happy. Um, and she sets out on this journey to solve this problem problem and to figure out what she's going to do and doesn't want to disappoint her family. She, of course, goes to who do you think she thinks is going to solve her problem? Santa. Santa, right? So she goes to Santa trying to solve this problem. And much to her surprise, it is Mrs. Claus, who she encounters, who helps her. And in turn, she, Amalia, helps Mrs. Claus with an issue Mrs. Claus is also experiencing. So it's, it's a story about intergenerational learning. It's about discovering your, your path and purpose. And I'm very proud of it. It's great. I got to read it. I have a four-year-old niece who Aww. I need to have this for. And let's actually talk about your grandmother. I don't want to screw this up. And she used to tell you, don't let anyone tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. So these words are reflected in the book and they're not just for kids. What do you hope that audiences take away from the story? Yeah, my grandmother was such an important figure for me and a lot of her teachings and lessons come through all of my kids' books. And Ambitious Girl um, uh, mentions that line. Uh, and it's really about, you know, that we have uh, so much power within each of us to define who we are and to tell that story and to be bold and confident about it. Even even if society tells us, you know, to take a step back or you're too ambitious or you can't be this or you can't be that. And in the context of Mrs. Claus, it's, you know, really about telling your story, right? And, and for Amalia the Elf, she realizes that had she known Mrs. Claus's truth and had she known her story, it would have been really meaningful for her and her own journey. And the more that we tell our stories and all of their nuances and, and beauty, the more that we make space for others to do the same. And that's what the book is about. I love that. And you just talked about Ambitious Girl, but you have a new book coming out called A is for Ambitious, which is yes. kind of 26 empowering messages. Is there any specific letter, right? It's the alphabet that really resonates with you right now. Yes. Uh D is for determined. It is November. I'm tired, but I'm still determined. Oh, okay. um, we're doing a lot of incredible work at my company, Phenomenal Media, and have so many uh, exciting projects in development across film and TV and theater. And I just have so much more stuff I want to do, and I'm determined to accomplish it all. So I'm really excited. Yeah, let's talk about Phenomenal Media. It started sort of as a merch uh, company and then skyrocketed into media as well. And you've created this whole community. What has been the most surprising or fulfilling part of that journey? Oh, the fact that I'm sitting here talking to you about it six years later, it started off as a very small idea. I never knew that it would grow it to, you know, to be what it is today. And the most fulfilling thing is almost to the day a year ago, we announced our expansion into content and entertainment. Uh, we're very close to selling our first feature film. Uh, we've co-produced uh, Broadway shows, uh, A Strange Loop and Death of a Salesman that are you know, showing now. Please go see those incredible yeah, shows. Incredible. Um, and that's just been so fulfilling uh, just to look back and have this moment to really think about you know, all that we've done in just a year. Yeah, congratulations on all of that talking about the Broadway shows being able to co-produce these and help get these stories out there why is that so important to you I mean they're so impactful yeah, it's a very basic mission, right, to center underrepresented stories in historically excluded communities and knowing that um, we have so much to share. And historically, we've not been able to tell all of those stories, and we want to uh, be a platform to amplify and promote and support and really put uh, creators and creatives of color first. Uh, Michael R. Jackson, who's the playwright for Strange Loop, is just so brilliant, and he worked on this play for 
decades, literally, is his life's work. And only, you know, this year did he see it on stage on Broadway in one of the, on one of the biggest stages in America. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's our mission, to support folks like him and to get more of those stories out there and know that all of us benefit from that, right? We all want to see those stories, right? We all want to, uh, and we deserve to see them. We do. And we love what you're doing. I love that determined is your word. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us here Thank today. You. And the truth about Mrs. Claus is out now, so be sure to get a copy 